Welcome to Trisha Ajay series. This is Samiksha. Today we have Professor Narayan Rao sir, principal of Trisha Vidya College Katpadi here as our resource person. Sir has a vast experience of 28 years in the field of computer education. Welcome you sir. Thank you. Today we are going to explore the IT sector as a whole. We will discuss about the latest trends, programs and career opportunities in the IT sector and why it is an essential area of study. So without any further ado, let's hear it from the expert. Greetings to all the viewers. Uh, every day we keep hearing about IT industry. So IT industry is uh, one of the very fascinating and uh, very challenging industry to work with. It is highly dynamic mainly because of two reasons. One, because of technology. So we know that technology is changing very rapidly. The second reason is the ever-changing business requirement. So because of these two reasons, IT industry is very, very dynamic in nature. Now, if I look at the segment of people who want to get into IT industry, I can mainly classify them into two categories. The first category, people with some sort of an experience, they want to get into IT industry. The second set of uh, category or second uh, category is the freshers. Now, in general, if I want to get into an IT industry, what sort of skills I should possess? Now, if I come with some relevant experience, then definitely I should have a combination of theoretical knowledge, practical knowledge, and I should be good in communication. But as a fresher, if I am looking for a career opportunity in the IT industry, then what are the skills that I should be possessing? There are several skills, but I want to stress on a couple of them. One. As a fresher, I should be very, very strong in my logical thinking. I should be having a very strong programming skills. And third one, I should have a good understanding about data management skills. So having spent around 18 years in the IT industry, both in Infosys and Accenture, where I trained freshers in technology, I observed that most of the fresher, they lack practical knowledge. So having theoretical knowledge alone, is not sufficient to survive in the IT industry. So one has to have a very strong practical skills and practical knowledge to get into an IT industry. So with that, I hand over back to Samiksha. Thank you, sir, for the quick overview of IT field. So as you have a vast experience in this field, we have some questions related to IT and the career opportunities in the IT field. So here is the first question. Why do students have to choose BCA other than diploma or engineering programs? See, when I have multiple options with me, what do I do? I start comparing. Now, when I compare, mainly we do comparison based on three parameters. One, the cost of the course. Second one, what do I learn in that course? The third one is, after the course, what options I have in terms of be it a uh, uh, job opportunity or be it a higher education opportunity. So considering these three, if I look at or if I compare BCA and engineering, if I compare based on the cost, so if I want to do an engineering per year, as a student, I may have to spend around six to eight lakhs if I'm doing it in a reputed engineering college. But to complete my BCA, which is a three years course, I am I may have to spend close to one and a half to two lakhs. So that is cost comparison. So cost wise, again, BCA is much cheaper than the engineering course. The second one in terms of the content or in terms of the course, I would say more or less 70% of the content remains the same across BCA and engineering. So that means I'll be learning almost the same thing what I learned in engineering even in my BCA. The third one is uh, job opportunities or higher education opportunities. In the current scenario, in the IT industry, there are job opportunities even for those who come from a BCA background. And I have multiple options if I want to go for a higher education. So if you ask me, I would definitely recommend BCA rather than engineering. Is there any demand for its professional now as well? Yeah, definitely. So as I said, IT industry is highly, uh, highly dynamic in nature and its requirements keep changing based on the technology, based on the business requirement. So definitely, it is a kind of an evergreen industry where you have requirement every day. So 
answer to your question is yes. Yeah, demand is there every day with respect to IT industry. Sir, how is the market now and 10 years ago? Okay. Uh, say, if I compare current scenario and 10 years ago, if 10 years ago, if someone wants to get into an IT industry, then one should have an engineering degree. Engineering in any discipline for that matter, not necessarily computer science. So even if I come from a, a BE mechanical or a BE civil, I used to get a job in the IT industry. The thing is, if you are an engineering graduate, you are tend to get a job in the IT industry 10 years before. But what happened during this pandemic, we have learned a lot and a lot of things have changed. So same thing happened in, even in the IT industry. They realized that a lot of job opportunities can be done by a segment of people who are tagged as non-engineering graduates. So non-engineering graduates means uh, people who are coming with other degree other than engineering. So be it BCA or be it BSc Computer Science or be it BCom or MCom. So these students are all tagged as a non-engineering graduates. So during this pandemic, IT industries understood that there are a lot of job roles or job types which can be fulfilled by non-engineering graduates. So hence, nowadays, even with the people who are coming with the non-engineering background, they have a job opportunity. So currently, I would say, uh, percentage-wise, it is around 15%. But maybe down the line, in another four to five years, it will definitely increase up to 35 to 40%. Technology landscape is changing very rapidly. So as a student, how do I keep myself updated about the changing technology landscape? Uh, see, if I look at nowadays, students, they change their mobile phone once in maybe two months or three months, right? So how do you get this information that, okay, new version of a new model has come up in the market? So you keep observing. So similarly with respect to technology, so if I have to keep myself updated about the technology, one, I need to keep observing. So now you need not have to go anywhere, internet is in your hand. So you just keep looking at the internet, keep understanding what is happening around you, that is one thing. Second thing, you can follow some of the best IT industries, for example, you can keep following Microsoft. You can keep following Google, Infosys, Accenture, Wipro, TCS, and see what kind of uh, technology they are using in their project. So that will give you an indication regarding where the technology is heading. So observing is a key thing by which you keep yourself updated about the technology. Okay, sir. As we see, many of the employees in the IT industry are still getting fired. So why do we need to go for the IT industries? Okay. So very good question. So now let me go on the Prashna Kailtene. New semester exam baritira. Okay. Hundred percent result barata. Sometimes the my effort may need it. So Burli Landre new exam clear agodila. Yes. Alba. So Adeta R IT industry. Prati employees go on the goal and the quotient year beginning early. So if I am not able to meet that particular goal. That means I am underperforming. Yes. So in any industry, there is no space for underperformance. Okay. So Hagagi, it is a natural process. Andre, it is not something new. Mm. If firing on a fire model do kerosene the thingy or the IT industry. That is a natural process. So those who are not able to perform as per the expectation, mm. so they need to pay the price. Okay. So but there are always opportunities for a right set of candidates. Mm -hmm. So your attitude matters. Mm -hmm. So how will you take some extra responsibility and prove that you are really capable? So either quality is either yavatu IT industry problem. But underperformer, yes. So they have to pay the price. So that is a natural process. Okay, okay sir. What is the expectation in the IT industry when a fresher joins the industry? Uh, see, there are a lot of expectation in the IT industry when a fresher is joining an IT industry. But mainly, IT industry is looking at certain skills from the freshers. The point of uh, the first skill is 
they should be very strong in their logical thinking. Second skill is, they should be really good in practical. Okay. The third skill is, they should have a good idea about database management system. And apart from this, nowadays, they expect you to have a very good communication skill. And you should be able to stand in front of 15 or uh, 15 of your team members and talk to them and convey your idea. That means your presentation skill and your attitude to work in a group. So all these skills is expected when a fresher is joining the industry. But of course, some of the skills are available. They can learn during their uh, graduation. But some of the skills, they have to look at others and try to imbibe and then try to build that skill. But definitely all these skills anybody can build. It is not that something difficult to get in, get acquire. But of course, these are the main skills which are, look, which are expected when a fresher is joining the industry. Does learning extra courses other than academics benefit the future industry or does it have to be mandatory? It's a very good question. See, when I when I'm undergoing a course, be it BC or any other undergraduate course, what do I learn? It is defined. Because university will have a syllabus and according to that, I'll be learning. But to complete my course, I will take three years of time if I consider BCA. Now, as I said in the beginning, technology is changing very rapidly. So what I learned today, it may not be relevant at the end of the third year. But university have their own restriction. They cannot change the syllabus once in six months. Okay. So once the syllabus is framed, that syllabus has to be there for a certain period of time. But technology will not wait that much amount of time. So as a student, I have to learn something extra so that I will remain relevant to the industry. So keep learning extra is always beneficial. And it is also a kind of a mindset that how do you learn extra? So when you are sitting and attending a class, a faculty will come to your class and they will teach you. But when you want to learn, learn something on your own, you may not have somebody sit, standing in front of you and teaching. Yes. You may have to depend on certain online platform and then learn on your own and then practical, you have to implement on your own to understand the theoretical concept. So this habit definitely will help you when you get into an industry. Because in the industry, since the technology is changing, what I learned when I joined the industry, it may not be relevant. But I may get into an IT industry if I have some strong programming skills, strong logical thinking skill. So with that, I'll be able to join the IT industry. But once I start working on the project in the IT industry, the technology, what the project is using, I may not know that technology. Yes. So then what is the option? I have to learn on my own. So if I have that, or if I cultivate the habit of learning on my own during my graduation, it will become very easy when I want to learn anything So in the industry. So if you ask me, learning will not stop. So as long as you are there, you have to keep learning. Yes. So I'll always say that learning anything extra is always good. Sir, one last question. Uh, nowadays, everyone is running behind in expecting good packages in the company. So is that good for career or should he or she has to focus on the career growth with learning new things? Uh, so I would always say that one should focus on the career growth and learn new things and establish yourself in the industry. Okay. But I have seen uh, people running behind package. Yes. Now, if I run behind the package, what can happen? So I'll just quote one incident. Mm -hmm. So I was conducting an interview in Accenture and there was one really good candidate. Mm -hmm. So he was technically, he was very good. So academically also he was excellent. But when I looked at the resume, he had two years of experience and uh, he had changed four companies. So then definitely the question is, if I recruit that candidate, will he stay in my organization for a longer period? Will he be loyal to my organization? So because of that, we could not select that particular candidate. So that is the reason I would suggest as a fresher, 
you first establish yourself in the industry don't run behind the package understand the industry learn new things focus on your career growth and after spending 5 to 6 years in the industry on the same organization or on the same company definitely you have plenty of opportunities waiting for you i hope that you all got the good insights about the latest trends programs and career opportunities in the it field from the expert so thank you so much sir for sharing the valuable insights and spending a valuable time with us thank you thank you